So let's start with what a subject is and what is an object. So if I take the sentence here, he threw the ball. What is the subject of this sentence? He. Good. The subject is he. And how do you know that? What is the subject? It's always a noun. Before the verb. Before the verb. Good. Good. So it is, it is, I heard it's always a noun. It is always a noun. Good. And it's a name, for example, a, um, for something. It, and it, could, follow it could be a name. Before the verb. It is before the verb. It is before the verb because it be, it comes before the verb because it is the thing that that does the verb. It is the thing that is doing the action in the sentence. How about the object? The ball. The object uh, is the ball. Good. After is, after verb. It's it, good, it's after the verb, and it, it's the thing that, it is the thing that you can say receives the action mm -hmm. of the sentence. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. yeah? Let's Let's talk about this one then, we'll do these examples. So she's writing a letter. What is the subject here? She. She. she good uh, an object right a letter uh, letter yes the object the letter. object is letter and the verb right, right. the verb right. is writing good um all right i drank the tea i'm subject i, I. Object. I. object d, d. d. Good. The, the D rank. Okay. Good. Very good. And my father painted the room. What's the subject? My, my father. father. My father. Mm -hmm. And then the object is the room. The room. The room. The room. Okay. Perfect. Very very good. So, <clears throat> what you can see here is that there's two. There are two basic types of questions. If we go back, there are subjects subject questions and object questions. Actually, we, we can do this, we can do this together. Can you, can everybody see my screen here? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How about let's start with we'll start with this one it'll be easier so we're on the same page so who did he tell is this a subject or an object, object. question object question. object question good this is an object question very good what about what happened subject object, object. question object subject object. <laughs> this is a subject question uh-huh mm -hmm. What about who wrote the letter? Subject. 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 Good. What about what did she write? Object. Good. This is an object question. What did he say? Object. 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 What does he do on Saturdays? Object. object. Huh? And then I know these are <laughs> you know, any other options, but who is on the phone? Subject. 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 And what is that? Subject. 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 Do you notice anything? Any patterns here? Yes. When we just ask about uh, subject question, we don't use auxiliary verbs like do, does, did. We just uh, ask with the uh, with the verb what happened, not what did happen. Mm -hmm. Just who wrote, not who did read. Right. Very good, excellent. That's exactly right. So, if I go back to my slideshow here, right, the rule is that if the question word is the subject, 
of the sentence who wrote the letter, then we don't use, we don't use auxiliary or helping verbs like do, did, or does. If the question word is the objects, right? We, we use the helping verb like do, did, or does. If you, if you have a hard time identifying whether something is an object or a subject, the best thing to do is to answer the question. So, right, like who wrote the letter? Let's say you can make up an answer, I, I wrote the letter. So here, right, you know, okay, I is the subject of the sentence. So they're asking me about the subject of this or what did she write? She wrote, a letter right and here you know okay they're asking me about the object of the sentence that's the best thing to do if you're not sure if something is a subject or an object does that make sense yes yeah okay very good so this can get a little bit tricky because the same this the same rule applies even if the question word is what, who, when, where, which, whose, or how many, or how much. So for example, I'm going to ask you if these are question or object uh, questions. Which team won? Is this a subject or an object question? Subject. 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 How do you know? Because I can answer just, I don't know. Because which team? Higher monachium. Uh, Bayer Minchin won. Good. Okay. So let's just say X team yeah. won, right? Yeah. Good. So we we can answer which team. Very yeah. good. Very good. How many families live here? Is this a object or question? I mean, an object or subject question? Subject. 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 This is a subject. How do you know that here? I can answer by number. X, X families live here. Great. All families live here, for example. X families yeah. live mm -hmm. here. So these are this is the thing that's doing the verb, right? Whose child broke that window? Objects or subjects? Subject. 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 Good. It's a subject. What country hosted the 1928 Olympics? Subject. 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 Japan, for example. <laughs> exactly. So we could say Japan, for example. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? Yeah, hmm. no, of course. You know, the last <laughs> was in Japan. It's, it's just, you know. And how about the last one? How many families do you know? Object. Yeah, object. 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 I know. Um, this is an object question. Yeah. How do you know that? I know X family. Good. I know X families. Family. So you have I as the subject mm. here. It's a subject. Right? It's a subject question. The last one object. is an object question. It's an object question. Object. If you if you answered this question, you wouldn't start with five families, for example, you would have to start the question with I, the answer would start with I know, which is I then is the subject of the question. Also, you can tell that it's an object question because it has a helping verb here. It has do in it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's practice this together. So I want you to ask a question about the words in italics. So for example, Sam loves computers. Who loves computers? Mm -hmm. Sam loves mm -hmm. computers. What does Sam love? Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. So what could we what could we say for number one? Alice broke her arm. Who broke her arm? Broke her 
Oh. Who Ooh, broke bro. her arm? Good. And how about Alice broke her arm? What did what Alice did break? Did br Alice break? Alice break. Good. What did Alice break? Break. Very good. Good. Paul found a necklace. Who found, 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 found a necklace? necklace. Good. Who, Who found, found a necklace? necklace? And then Paul found a necklace. What, what did Paul what find? Did the did Paul Paul find? find the... Good. What did Paul find? Julie teaches Japanese. Who teaches Who Japanese? Teaches Japanese. Okay. And then Julie teaches Japanese. What, 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 what does what Julie, Julie teach? Julie does teach. teach. Julie I teach. think uh, the question ah, yes. has oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. You caught my you <laughs> caught my typo there. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. How about four? His wife prefers classical music. What who, who prefers, prefers, classical, prefers classical, classical music? Classic music. Whose wife prefers uh, classical music? Good. And how about this one? His wife prefers classical music. What? What, what does, does his wife, wife prefer? prefer? <laughs> I heard many different answers at the same time. There's actually a, there's a few ways. There's a few ways you could actually ask this question. One which way type of which type of the music his wife prefer? Yeah, so you could say which or what type. What type of music does his wife prefer? You could also say, for example what if you were if you already knew that you were talking about music for example you could say what does his wife prefer mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and i think the last one will probably be the maybe it'll be the trickiest i'm not sure but let's try it so room six holds 300 people how many people how many people hold in room number six it's well Will hold mm -hmm. three hundred mm -hmm. people. How how many people? How many people? Room hold six room? No, no. Room will six. which room holds three hundred people? people? Yes, that's it. That's it. Which which room or what room? Which or what room mm -hmm. holds three hundred mm -hmm. people? Great. So we see like, if you were to answer this, you'd have to say room six holds. Mm -hmm. So we know that room six then is the subject here. So what you all were answering actually was the second one, B, room six holds 300 people, which would be, what would be the question here? How many people? How many people? How many room six, yeah. room six hold? How many people? people does room six hold? Room six hold. Does room six hold? Perfect. Very, very good. Excellent. All right. Wow. So do you, before we move on, do you understand then the difference between an object and a subject question? Yes. Yeah, it's okay? Okay. Yes. okay. Great. Great.